I saw them pull his body out of the water. He'd been bound, sodomized, and strangled. It was the worst thing our sleepy city had ever seen. He was so young. They blamed Christopher Jenkins, the retarded man that Robbie had been palling around with. They said he finally snapped, lashed out in some sort of homosexual frustration. He even confessed to the crime, but that wasn't right. I could see it in his eyes. They'd forced the confession out of him. Why? That body was left there by someone, and it wasn't Chris. They wanted that boy to be found. I can't get any cooperation from the boys in blue. They tell me the case is closed. They tell me I should just leave well enough alone. But I've never been known to do that. Robbie and his mother had lived down at the chicken coops, the low-rent pen down at the edge of town. The little lady refused to speak to me. You ain't a cop. I ain't gonna talk, she said. It was quaint. But that was okay. Her home told me all I needed to know. ago, strange things started happening around here, especially over that coop over there. Plants being dug up, windows busted out, even saw blood being smeared on the porch, and even saw them nail a dead cat to a door. So you did it? Yeah, I saw who did it. The wagon. Why she ain't saying anything. I understand that. So why are you talking to me? Because they don't know I saw him. I took a liking to the boy. Terrible what happened to him. Why aren't you talking to the police? Why are you talking to me? Police? I don't trust no police. And you ain't no cop. It's funny how that works. One spits at you for not brandishing a shield, another will only talk to you for that same reason. What I was concerned with now, though, was how the boy got mixed up with the Wagner family. They were trailer trash up the north side of town, but they ran drugs and brothels in the surrounding area. Nobody liked to talk to them or did much about them. Cops never could get anything solid on them, so it was best to try and ignore it. They had a strange power and mystique surrounding them, and I knew if I approached anyone in the family, I was as good as dead. But I knew they had an accomplice. what you know. I don't know. It's the kid in the palooka always playing in the park. They used to play in the park almost every day. The kid, he was real nice to that palooka. He was always a sap like that. Like they was real friends or something. My files say none of the Douglas family is mixed up in drugs. How'd they get involved with the Wagners? I don't know. The kid and the big guy see something they weren't supposed to see. I don't know what it was. What'd they see? Uh, I don't know. The wagons, they, they don't tell me nothing. I just loaded boxes one day. I heard they saw something. Something down by the Founders Cemetery. I don't know what it was. Wasn't very hard, was it? Uh, Clean yourself up. Your work clothes are dirty. <laughs> Oh. 